how to make an envelope style gathered mask with a nose piece and a filter pocket. The supplies you will need are fabric, a pipe cleaner, cording or elastic, a knitting needle, a crochet hook, scissors, and thread. The first step is to cut your fabric into a 17 inch by 11 inch rectangle. The next step will be to turn under a narrow hem on the 11 inch side and you'll do this on both sides. I just do this at my machine. I don't bother ironing it. I just fold the fabric under once and fold it under again and then I sew the hem in place along both 11 inch sides so that you've got a nice finished edge. Next you'll lay the hemmed fabric on your table wrong side up with your hemmed edges at top and bottom. Fold the bottom edge up toward the middle about four inches up. Next you'll fold the top edge down to overlap the bottom edge by about an inch. This will help create your filter pocket. You'll pin that in place when you go to sew, especially if you're surging, be very careful of those pins and remove them. I serge the raw edges together on both sides that I just pinned. Um, you can zigzag them and then clip the seams or you can actually fold it wrong side out and, and sew along the edges and then turn it back right side out to create an envelope. And this is what it looks like once those, those edges have been finished. Then you'll take a 12 inch piece of pipe cleaner and bend it in thirds toward the center. Next you'll twist that pipe cleaner on both ends, twist it from one direction, turn it over, twist it from the other, and you'll, this is your finished pipe cleaner, which will be the nose piece. You'll insert that pipe cleaner into the top edge of the envelope. Be sure to center the pipe cleaner so that it's in the center of the mask. Next, you'll stitch along the three edges of the pipe cleaner. There'll be two little short end edges and one nice long edge. That's gonna create a casing for the pipe cleaner. Uh, when I first started making these, I didn't enclose that the side edges and the pipe cleaners would slip out. But that's the pipe cleaner sewn into the casing. Next, you'll turn the tails of the surged edges upward so that they will be enclosed in the seam you're about to make. Then you'll turn the surged edge inward about three quarters of an inch toward the filter pocket and you will stitch that in place. This is going to make a casing. Uh, you'll do the same on both sides and that will create a casing for the ties or elastic. So it needs to be wide enough to get that crochet hook in. This is a, the, what the filter pocket looks like while the mask is still flat and before it's been gathered. The next step is to insert a knitting needle from the bottom of the casing to the top. It's very important that the needle be inserted that way. Um, you'll gather the mask along the needle. To me, this is just so much easier than pleating it and quicker. Next, I stitch over the gathers, sewing from the top edge down, which is very important because as you sew, it kind of flattens out uh, where you begin and you want that flattened out part to be at the top. Uh, this is what the finished gathers look like. You'll do the same thing on the other side, remembering to stitch from the top edge downward. This is the finished mask before adding the ties or the elastic. This is the filter pocket in the finished mask. So you can see there, and that's where uh, any type of filter can be inserted. For the ties, you're gonna cut your cording 50 inches long. I've been using paracord. Um, you can use whatever kind of cording is best. You'll insert a crochet hook, this time going from the top through the casing towards the bottom. You'll hook the cording with your crochet hook and then you're going to pull it through. Um, it's very important that you insert the crochet hook from the top um, so that your loop is gonna be along the bottom. So, and then you'll do the same on the other side because you want the loop of the cording to be at the bottom of the mask, not at the top. When I first started making these, I put them at the top, but I saw a nurse wearing one and she had it the loop, the loop at the bottom because it allows the mask to hang from your neck so that if you need to untie it for whatever reason for a few minutes, you can untie it, let it hang, put it back up. So then next you're gonna tie a knot in the ends of the cording so that they don't fray and come undone. Um, the ties to me are the best for this particular mask because it allows the mask to fit very snugly along the sides of the face. When you pull those ties tight, it really, the gathers really gather up nice and snug along the sides of the face. This is a front view of the mask and you see how well it fits along the nose 
there when you bend the nose piece. I like the tripled um, pipe cleaner because it does make a stronger nose piece, a more sturdy nose piece. And this is how you just tie the mask along the top of the head. You see again the side, the way it fits on each side and the back is tied in place. Um, if you're using elastic, you will cut the elastic into 10 inch lengths because the elastic is going to be go through the mask, through the casing. So you use the crochet hook to pull the elastic through the casing of the mask. Um, tie a knot in the ends of the elastic to join. I like to do that. It's a, it's a good way to, to secure it and also it allows them to untie it or retie it closer if it needs to be for a better fit. Here I am putting on the mask with the elastic in it and you see how it gaps a little more at the sides than the ties do. That's why I prefer the ties for this particular pattern. And that's all there is to it. Um, I created this over the past few weeks with various trial and error and this is the best mask that I have come up with.